Hey guys, so in this video, as you saw from the title, I will be showing you how to superimpose text over a pic to make it pop, okay? So what you wanna do is start with your photo of choice. Um, so I'll actually be using a photo that I took randomly when I was out and about. I saw this amazing opportunity to take this photo as you see here because I saw this huge blank canvas wall. At least that's how I looked at it. And so I would highly encourage you to, when you're out and about, like don't overthink it. If you see a beautiful wall like this or like even a garage door or something where it's pretty much empty and there's a lot of negative space, take a photo. Now my tip with that would be make sure you take the photo where you have your kind of not super large where you literally have tons of negative space because with that it doesn't limit you when it comes to post-production here in this particular case versus if you're really zoomed in it's kind of hard to add more of that background there are apps that allow you to be able to add you know walls and whatnot but that just makes it it's just easier if you do it this way okay so the tip here is to make sure you have a lot of negative space around your subject okay all right, so before we get started, we're gonna duplicate this. So Command or Control D on your keyboard, and then I'm gonna pop that duplicated photo in my clipboard. So Command or Control X, all right? Then we need to zoom into this photo um, to center it to our dimension. In this particular case, it's a 1080 by 1084, optimized for Instagram, okay? Um, so one thing though, just off the bat, especially if this is the case for you, is that this is crooked. I already know that if I zoom into this, it's gonna look off. So a way to kind of um, combat that is you want to enable your rulers and guides. So if you go to file and then show rulers and guides, you'll see this ruler pop up here, right here. And then if you hover over and then drag down, a purple guide will come down, all right? So let me actually, so hover it over, you'll see the, the arrow up and down icon. And then if we drag down, I'm gonna get it as close to here as possible. All right, this will be our guide to then rotate this. So that way, this will be our guide to then rotate this. So that way um, it'll be positioned correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and let me zoom in a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and rotate this. So that way it is straight. And there it is. And if you wanna put the guide even closer up, that'll be actually, it'll give you a little bit more of an accurate um, measurement there. So it looks like, there we go. All right, great. Now that we've gotten this to be aligned, we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill this canvas area up and you can get rid of your guide too. At this point, you don't need it. And so a great way to kind of hack filling your photo, uh, filling your canvas with the photo is right click and then set image as background. And there it is, all right? Like I said, the more neg negative space, excuse me, the better. So I'm actually gonna double click on this and bring this down. And I also want to make sure I'm centered. So whoever your subject is, make sure they're centered. You can kind of see I'm more to the left when it comes to these two boxes here. Um, I can't actually move myself over to the left or right. So what I do need to do for this to work is I need to actually zoom into the photo by expanding it out. And you can actually just kind of, you can gauge. Now I'm in the center. So at this point, the subject is completely in the dead center and I have all this negative space. We'll click out of this and there you go. All right, again, we have that duplicated image in my clipboard, in our clipboard. So we're gonna hang on to that in just a second. Before we do that, before we go ahead and remove the background for that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and type our text. For my original photo, I have looking forward to the future just because I felt like it was vibey and I'm looking over to the side. Um, so in this case, let's just switch it up and I'm gonna do the text, I love it here because I like saying that, especially when it comes to affirming positive things and being appreciative and stuff. And so we're gonna put this in the center. That purple line is gonna help us determine if it's the center. If you're not good at eyeballing that, you can always have your text selected and make sure it's in the center. And if it's grayed out, that means it's already in the center. If it's not, click it and then it'll center it for you, okay? Now, the way we wanna superimpose this is I want my hat to slightly overlap my text. So we're gonna bring the text down just a bit to kind of gauge how much of the hat we want to cover it, okay? So that's how much of the hat is gonna cover the text once we get our second layer, what's in my clipboard right now, over it. All right, let me zoom back out so you guys can see. We're gonna going to paste that second layer. There it is, the original photo. And then we're going to, um, you can rotate it now if you want, but let me show you why that, that doesn't actually matter. But we're gonna go ahead and remove the background. That's actually really what's important for us to kind of create that superimposed um, uh, graphic. So now that my photo is selected, we're gonna do BG Remover. By the way, this is a pro uh, feature only for Canva. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you can try it for 30 days for free. In light of my link, I will have it posted in the description box and the comment section below. 
Um, keep in mind, it actually helps both of us. You can obviously try it for free. And if you want to continue on with your subscription, it helps me out by um, allowing me to get a small percentage um, as far as commission goes. So check that out if that's something you're interested in. All right, so I'm gonna click apply and then let's actually zoom in. Um, actually, before I zoom in, let me get rid of some of this negative space here. This is optional, but I personally like to get rid of as much negative space as possible because it just, it's just helpful, okay? Um, and then because really all I need to account for is this little bit, I actually don't need my scarf, I don't need my face, I just need the tip of this hat, okay? As you can see here. And then we're gonna zoom into this by um, expanding out either corners, it doesn't matter. Um, whenever you're, as you guys saw me get rid of the negative space, when you're touching these little um, horizontal or um, vertical parts here of the image, that's cropping. Any anytime, excuse me, that you're touching the corners, that's minimizing or expanding. All right, so do what you need to, and obviously this is too big. Obviously this is too big, so we're just gonna go ahead and just start sizing it based on what we see here. Okay, uh, let me get it. And then if I click out of this, you can kind of tell, you can't really tell from here, but if we zoom in, if you can't notice, um, it's obviously off a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is click on that. Let me get rid of some of this negative space that I don't need. And then we're going to minimize that just a bit. And then this little corner just a bit too. All right, that way it gets rid of that line that honestly isn't that obvious. But if you wanna make it perfect, that's how you would do it. All right, if we zoom back out, there you have it. Now it looks like the text is right behind me. I would actually probably move this maybe up some, just like that, and let me actually get it back centered. Um, but yeah, now it looks like the text is right behind me, even though it's really just behind this little piece of the hat, but that allows it to pop. Okay, and what's really cool about that is you can do whatever text you want and whatever color, whatever font, whatever. Um, this font, by the way, is called Safira March. So in case you like this, that is actually inside of Canva. Um, but you can be creative. That was my other example. If you want to do curve, you can do curve. Honestly, you guys, the world is your oyster. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you decide to recreate your own, please tag me at the beauty graphic designer. I would love to see your designs. If you happen to have any questions about how to superimpose or something that pertains to this, please let me know in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And then I will see you guys on the next video. Hopefully you, you enjoyed this and have a beautiful, blessed, productive day.